Good afternoon, all students. Welcome to the course GEN one one zero one, or Identity of Rajapat. For today, uh, I would like to talk about the identity of CMRU. Uh, first of all, may I introduce myself? I am Ajahn Virawat Leromyanan, the lecturer from uh, the program EIC or English for International Communication. Okay, nice to meet you. Maybe uh, some of you you have met me already. Okay, uh, let's start uh, the lesson today. So, the CMRU identity. First and foremost, I would like to uh, bring you to know uh, the definition of the word identity. Identity means who a person is or the qualities of a person or group that make them different from others. So this is the definition uh, written by Cambridge Dictionary. Actually, identity this is uh, the fact of being who or what we are. For example, uh, for me, I am Ajahn Virawat, right? Uh, maybe in other universities, uh, there are some Ajahn Virawat that have the same name with, with mine, okay? However, for me, Ajahn Virawat over here, I have my own identity. The face is like this, the way to teach is like this, uh, the way to uh, dress up is like this. So this is my identity and it's totally different from the others so uh, to simplify the word identity it just the things that show who you are or what you are okay uh, next what is the identity of CMRU for our university uh, the products of a learner according to philosophy, determination, mission, as well as objective of establishing the university which were approved by the university council. So that means all the things before it become uh, the CMU identity, we have to pass uh, the university council and the university board members have to agree to create this identity to become our identity. Uh, to define uh, the identity of the MRU, I will briefly talk about what you have to know for the identity. First, the life skill. Next, service mind. And the last one, hard working. These three things are our identity. That means uh, all CMRU students, all CMRU staff, all CMRU uh, people, we must have these identities in order to show the others that who we are. And the first one, life skill. Uh, this is a definition of the word life skills. It's referred to abilities to adjust oneself to new situations and to make appropriate choices in life in order to live and get a job. And for this skill, it is very important because these skills also include ability to face problems occurring in current social condition and to get oneself ready for the future effectively. That means uh, for the graduates that uh, once they finish uh, our university courses and then when you have to work one thing that show your CM or your identity the first thing you must have life skills and the CM or your identity defines life skills into 10 skills the first one decision making next problem solving and third creativity Fourth, critical thinking. Fifth, effective communication. Sixth, interpersonal skills. Seventh, self awareness. Eighth, skills of understanding. Ninth, emotional intelligence. And the last one, stress management. 
So I will explain to you briefly one by one in order to get what the idea of each. Uh, for life skill, the first one uh, is decision making. For decision making, this is the process of making choices by identifying a decision, gathering information, and assessing alternative resol uh, resolution. Resolution, sorry. For this, uh, is this very important? Because when you work or even you study, when you want to make a decision, for some students, you have some problem by uh, deciding what you really need to do at the time, and this is very uh, significant in terms of. Uh, changing the way you live or the way you study or the way you work because effective decision making will create effective success that means if you have a good decision making you have you will have a, a good result and for this the keyword for good decision making is that you have to be able to gathering information and assessing alternative resolution that means you have to be able to gather all the information and then you have to be able to evaluate evaluate that means you have to think about it carefully compare and contrast all the information before you come out with the final decision okay the next one ah, problem solving Problem solving refers to the process of finding solutions to difficult or complex issues. Many uh, students, uh, you might suffer from uh, some problem because you cannot think of uh, the solution or you cannot have some uh, problem solving skills. Sometimes you need someone to give you some advice or some suggestions in order to solve the problems you have, right? But for this, uh, all experiences that you study in the university from first year to the last last year okay is to help you because you would have to pass some kind of problems during your study or even the last semester that you go for the internship you might have to face uh, many problems and those experience you have from our, our university it will help you to gain more experiences and those experience will create problem solving and this is the very important skill for you because uh, same are you student you have to be able to learn and apply some things to make your solutions the next one creativity Ah, this is one of my favorite skill. It means the use of the imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic or uh, artistic work. Maybe you will hear this word uh, from uh, some artist. Ah, this is uh, this artist is very creative, right? Creative actually it means like you have to be able to think differently. You have to be able to create something that different from other people to show that your idea is outstanding. Okay? Because um we cannot always be a follower a follower all the time. Sometimes we have to make some new thing okay and the new thing come from experience come from your imagination and I want to urge all students that you can be able to create something new for our community even at work or in the class you have to be able to be a creative person next one critical thinking for this skill, it refers to ability to think clearly and rationally. The word rationally over here, it means you have to be able to uh, 
analyze the data or information or you have you have to be able to have some reasons to support uh, about how to think of something the ability to think clearly and rationally understanding the logical connection between ideas the word logical uh, is come from the word logic that that means you have to be able to think according to what it should be okay not from your emotion but come from all the factors all the thing that it can be and also for critical thinking you not uh, it's not just uh, thinking from what you see but you have to go deep down for what it really means okay that is a very important point for critical thinking the next one it is effective communication ah, nowadays I think many people and maybe some students uh, they are suffering from having uh, problems with communication however for getting better communication you have to be able to evaluate your communication skill ah, so before I explain to you in more detail you have to know the definition of effective communication first this is the ability to convey information to another effectively and efficiently that means you have to learn how to use words you have to learn how the way to speak the way to talk to others that means if you are in the university and you always socialize or you always keep talking with teacher with your friends uh, or maybe other people that that it is that those are the things that can shape your skill and those are the things that can reflect how good is your communication skill and after you finish the university those things will help you to know the way to communicate to other people especially uh, different kinds of people next interpersonal skill uh, this is uh, the behaviors and tactics I have no tactics it means some techniques or some tips uh, a person uses to interact with others effectively that means uh, when you have to talk to another person or when you have to deal with your boss you have to deal with someone that you haven't known them before interpersonal skill is something that very significant because you can make first impression you can make your imagination uh, I mean the imagination that other always think of you you can make your image you can create your um, characteristic in the eye of the one that talk to you for example like if I uh, talk to you for the first time but I don't have good interpersonal skill I don't know how to say hi to you I don't know how to uh, behave to you I don't know how to answer your questions I don't even know how to ask you some questions so this is uh, the things that can create some misunderstanding and it can break the impression that a person can have with you for interpersonal skill that means you have to know how to talk to another person through face-to-face -face communication all right okay the next one of life skill ah, self-awareness okay for the word self-awareness it refers to the ability to focus on yourself and how your actions your thoughts your emotions do or don't align with your internal standards the word align here is mean become a part of someone okay that means 
the ability to focus on yourself. You have to be able to look back at yourself, uh, to know yourself, to know how you act to other people. It's just like uh, when you talk to other people, you might overlook yourself. Uh, you always think of the other people instead of go back to look at yourself, right? So you will never know uh, what the other perceive you. However, if you have this skill for self awareness, you will evaluate yourself. You will evaluate your idea, your action, your thought, your emotion. When you express such things to other people, how other people feel with you. This is very important because it will help to improve your personality. It will improve uh, even your uh, uh, even your uh, perception toward the other things because many people nowadays they think uh, they set themselves as uh, how can I say the center of the world okay I think you might uh, have heard uh, about this word okay the center of the world that means you look at everything based on yourself that means you will have some difficulties living your life because if you set yourself at the center of the world that means you expect other people to do to think the same as you do and if you have self awareness okay you will know that your standard is not the world standard when you look back at, at yourself you will know that sometimes your idea your action is not good for other people that means you will learn to adjust yourself to fit with other people and this is the things that you can increase your EQ or your e emotional conscience okay now ah, the next one uh, let's talk about skills of understanding this is the ability to receive and connect information to our perception systematically in order to create understanding towards something. Okay, so this is very important. When you listen to someone or you read something, okay, one thing that you have to do is that you have to be able to receive that information and then connect in the information in your perception that means you have to be able to link all the information that you perceive sometimes you have to uh, have some background of the things that you listen to or you read about because this must be done systematically that means you must uh, receive it and try to connect information and then create your own understanding because uh, your understanding sometimes might be different from the other people's understanding, right? However, you can find more information to support your understanding. And finally, if it's done systematically, your understanding will be something that reliable, will be something that can make you more educated, okay? And try to practice this skill because Nowadays, many people just listen to or read only the surface. You will never go deep down to something. That means you might be the victim of the media nowadays. Especially uh, the things from the internet. It's considered that the most unreliable sources. Right? Uh, so try to understand and try to understand the purpose of everything around you. Not just understand only what they want you to understand. Okay? The next one. Uh, emotional intelligence uh, okay so some people call it EQ or emotional conscience the word emotional is come from the word emotion it means feeling right or mood uh, intelligence means um, uh, how you're smart okay uh, it's just like uh, the way that you show your uh, 
ability to control your emotion. Ah, so uh, I make a brief uh, definition over here. Emotional intelligence means uh, the ability to understand, use, and manage. Ah, you know the word manage. Uh, manage to deal with or to control your emotion in positive way to relieve stress. So that means some people, when you have some problem, maybe you have some problem with your friends, your family, and then when you come in the class, you still feel bad well with your friends or your families. However, you express that feeling with other people who don't know your problems. That means your lack of emotional intelligence, because the other people they they have no idea what you have. However, you express some anger, you talk some bad words to them, you do things uh, according to your bad feeling to other people. That means you don't have good emotional intelligence. Ah, and the way to do to practice uh, your emotional intelligence that means you have to be able to understand yourself first and you have to imagine that okay if you are the other's people and if you express someone express this to you how you feel okay that means you have to be able to separate your emotion and your action for others because sometimes people do something based on their emotions it will ruin if you have problem okay so try to be positive and if you know how to manage your emotion you will be able to decrease your stress and once uh, you can decrease your stress you will be more happy okay ah, and maybe this is the last one for uh, life skills stress management Okay, stress management. So this is uh, the following result from uh, emotional intelligence. It means the method. You know the word method. Method here is mean um, the way, okay, or the approach of limiting stress, uh, limiting stress and its effects by learning ways of behaving and thinking that reduce it okay so there are many ways for you to increase your stress to manage your stress because nowadays everybody I, I do believe that you are stressful from something or from several things like for me uh, I maybe I straight out from uh, working uh, from something that I disappointed right uh, so sometimes stress cause you uh, some problem with sleeping you cannot even sleep and the next day you have to come in the class uh, without any feeling to study like that it's cause a lot of problem right and you can search uh, at Google you can find something in YouTube they have now in order to reduce your stress maybe um, you can talk to your friends talk to your advisor your teacher you can play some sport in the evening you can find some hobbies to do uh, and there are so many easy things they have don't keep yourself alone because they have some time they have no way alone you are in the problem and you cannot find solution uh, you can share uh, your problem you can share your uh, difficulties uh, with other people they have now this is the the easy way now to in uh, sorry to decrease or to reduce your stress they have uh, and those are the things that uh consider as the 10 skills for life skill this is the third identity of cmru next one i'm gonna talk about service mind uh, for the word service mind it means uh public consciousness awareness and concerns towards society okay so let me simplify the meaning of service mind for you so this is um, something that we think of others we think of uh, public condition we think of um, 
the overall people. For example, I will drive a car to the university. However, I think that maybe uh, my car can cause uh, carbon dioxide in the air and this can cause global warming. This is a global issue, uh, you, you know global warming. Okay, then I concern about other people health. I worry that maybe they might get uh, lung cancer, they may have some problem with their breathing. Okay, I decide to walk, I decide to use bicycle. Okay, this is something that show my service mind. Ah, I have now that I would like to uh, help other people ah, or I want to help the society to be better okay and this skill also includes helping society without causing others trouble yeah so you can see from uh, you can read from some news uh, or you can see from some uh, video or some televisions program right Nah, you will see that some people they donate something for others in order to help them to have better life uh, for example like last year sorry last month nah, some part of Thailand was flood okay they suffer from flooding that means uh, some people that they live in other area they try to donate or they try to uh, give them or do some uh, charity in order to uh, give something to them or buy something to them to 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 help them to have a better life in the bad situation that means you have service mind okay or sometimes we call volunteer mind okay you do something to other people without hoping or expecting anything in return ah. this is uh, another identity of CMRU and the last identity, okay, I think this is uh, the characteristic of CMRU student. I'm pretty sure because I have many friends working in the fields of businesses and they say CMRU student, we are hardworking people. Okay, the definition of hardworking, it refers to ambition, intention, uh, diligence, uh, patience, discipline, uh, interpersonal skills, as well as responsibility at work. The last one is very important. Okay, ah, hard working is something that uh, shows that you are the one that dedicate yourself for doing something or, or for achieving the goal. Okay, like when you work at a company. Ah, and normally we finish work at 4 p.m. okay everybody go back home however the work of the company haven't finished yet you are willing to stay longer in order to finish the work for the company that means you are the one who are hard working and you are the one who have patience uh, patience that means you help to contribute to the company by dedicating your time by dedicating what you have to make the company succeed or successful and hard working also uh, include the act of overcoming or overwhelming uh, difficulties in your life or in your work or in your study because if you not the one who easily give up you try to do your best in order to achieve the goal no matter how hard it is that means you can have a characteristic of hard working okay and this is a very important skill and also this is the things that show that you are CMRU student and those are the things of our uh, CMRU identity okay uh, the first one is 
life skills okay there are 10 life skills you can go back and review all the 10 skills if you don't understand and the second one is service mind I have just uh, talked about it before the third one is hardworking okay and those are the identity of uh, CMRU next uh, let me talk uh, a bit about uniqueness okay uniqueness in Thai we call a galak Ah, a galak or uniqueness. So uniqueness is mean the quality of being unlike anything else of its kind. Ah, you have to remember because this will be in the quiz. They have of being solitary in type of characteristics. So it means uh, the quality of being particularly remarkable or outstanding or special or unusual. So, uh, for uh, according to CMIU uniqueness, it means that the things that all of you have in common, all of you have in common, this is the same thing that all of you have, and this is the things that make CMIU students different from other university students. Ah, so. I briefly uh, simplify it to you here. According to CMIU uniqueness, this refers to the outstanding characteristic of CMRU people, which we have in common in order to become one. Huh? So all we have the same uniqueness. And as we all are CMRU people, this thing is make us different it make us become one it make us have unity and this thing make us different from other university uniqueness right and for our uniqueness ah, or maybe some people call it our DNA you know DNA ah, you can find out what DNA stand for ah, our CMR uniqueness or our DNA is ah, being a university for local development that means that our university focused on local development local is mean our community okay so uh, many times that when we graduate we try to uh, look further for some other things they have not in our community not in our uh, local area however the CMRU uniqueness or CMRU DNA or uh, CMRU uh, how can I say CMRU the gist of CMRU uh, they have not all the essence of CMRU is to develop local areas and I'm going to show you some picture uh, you can see that we have many projects and we have many uh, activities uh, to cooperate with uh, the local people in order to improve their living in order to make a better life uh, back to the local communities and uh, this is some uh, programs that we have done so all faculties in our university the things that we always do this is called uh, community service and this is uh, the very impor important part because we do believe that if our community or our local areas better that means we can have a better life we can have a happy life and we can make all people in local areas happy too okay uh, you can find more information uh, from Google I have now uh, what our university have done in order to uh, develop local areas I have uh, and some picture I have now is from uh, Meho Son I have now Meho Son we also have another branch of Chiang Mai that's what university look at it at Meho Son I have now and this is what we have done they have in order to uh, improve they have now uh, the local people life they have 
okay and the next chapter they have now they will talk more about uh, the strategies of local development they have not according to the king's philosophy now for sustainable development they have okay so this is uh, all of my presentation they have now and after this now I think you will have to do quiz they have now for uh, five percent they have now hopefully you understand have and enjoy our presentation all the mistakes they have not I have made I have to apologize they have now okay they have hope to see you soon they have thank you very much for your attention they have bye bye